Hi, I'm Joe James, and in this video I'm going to show you how to reverse the letters of a string, reverse the digits of an integer, check if a number is a palindrome, that is a reversible digit number, that's the same forward and backward, and also show you how to reverse uh, elements of a list. So first let's look at how to convert types from between integer and string. So let's say x is an integer. We can check the type of x and we'll say, it will say that it's an int. Now if we let y equal the string value of x, and we check the type of y, we're going to see that y is a string. And if we let z equal the int of y, that assigns the integer value of the string y to z. And we can see that the type of z is an integer. So it's pretty quick and easy using int and str functions to convert between strings and integers. Now let's look at how to reverse the letters of a string. There's a very easy function that will reverse the letters of a string using the slice function for strings. So we have an open square brace, a semicolon, another semicolon, and a negative one, which is the step. So we're saying we want to reverse step, neg negative one step, and then a closed brace. This will iterate through the elements of y in reverse order. So 8, 6, 4, 2. However, we didn't actually assign this value to y. So if we look at y, it is still the string 2, 4, 6, 8. If we want to actually assign that returned value to y, we have to use an equal sign, y equals. And now we can see y is equal to 8, 6, 4, 2, which is a string. So it's pretty easy to reverse the order of the elements of a string using this slice function. Now we're going to see how we can reverse the digits of an integer. So x was equal to 2, 4, 6, 8. Basically what this function does is it first converts x into a string. It iterates through the elements in reverse order, and then it converts that reversed string to an integer value and assigns it to x. So x is now equal to 8, 6, 4, 2 instead of 2, 4, 6, 8. So with one simple line of code, we've reversed the order of the digits of x. So a palindrome is a number that is the same even when you reverse the digits. So for example, 2, 4, 4, 2. Even if we reverse those digits, it's still the same number. And we can verify that. We can write a simple function to check if x is a palindrome. So all we did was we used the equals equals sign, which will return a boolean. It's going to compare. This does a comparison with x and the reversed order of x. And it will return true if they're equal, and it will return false if they're not. So it returns true. Now if we let x equal 1, 2, 3, and we try the same function, it's going to return false. So this is a very easy palindrome checker. And lastly, if we want to reverse lists, let's say we have a list of apples, banana, and candy. We can see these are in alphabetical order. We can use exactly the same slicing function that we use to reverse the letters of a string. And we can still see that A is still in the same order because we didn't use the equal sign to assign the return value to A. Now there's another way to do the reverse. For lists, we can use A.reverse which actually reverse the order in place of the elements of A. So now we can see that A is reversed. That wraps up my video on reversing strings, integers, and lists, and checking for palindromes. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please click the like at the bottom of the screen. I'm Joe James. Thanks for watching.